another episode of Our Daily Chews, your go-to podcast for all things nutrition. I'm Lynn Clayton, a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and your host. I hope you sort fact from fiction with a research-based and common-sense approach to nutrition science. Today, we're diving deep into the world of minerals, those tiny but mighty elements essential for your health and well-being. So what exactly are minerals? Think of them as the unsung heroes of nutrition. They're inorganic substances found in our soil and water that your body needs to function properly. These minerals play key roles in a range of bodily functions from building strong bones to maintaining a healthy heartbeat. Let's start with calcium, the rock star mineral when it comes to bone health. You've probably heard that calcium is crucial for strong bones and teeth, But did you know it's also essential for muscle function and nerve transmission? Aim for around 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams of calcium per day, which you can find in dairy products like milk, yogurt, and cheese, as well as leafy greens like kale and broccoli. And don't forget to include some vitamin D and vitamin K from your diet as well, since these two vitamins help your body absorb and utilize dietary calcium. These nutrients just work better together. Next up, we have iron, a vital mineral responsible for carrying oxygen throughout your body. Iron is a component of hemoglobin, the protein in your red blood cells that helps transport oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. Without enough iron, you may feel tired and sluggish. A lack of iron is known as iron deficiency anemia. This is the most common type of anemia. Populations at highest risk for iron deficiency include infants and toddlers and pregnant women. The recommended amount of iron varies depending on age and gender. The RDA or recommended daily allowance for men is 8 milligrams and for women it's 18 milligrams up to the age of 50. After menopause, women do not need as much iron. And you can find it in foods like lean meats, especially red meat or liver, beans, lentils, and fortified cereals. Supplements can help in the case of iron deficiency anemia, but don't overdo the supplements. Too much iron can cause stomach upset and constipation. Add foods that are high in iron along with foods rich in vitamin C, which helps your body absorb iron better. Food sources are always the best, but talk with your doctor if you have symptoms of low iron, such as fatigue, pale skin, or even mild shortness of breath. You may need supplemental iron. Just keep in mind that excessive iron intake can block zinc absorption, leading to low levels of zinc. Balance is key. Moving on to magnesium, the calming mineral. Magnesium plays a crucial role in over 300 biochemical reactions in your body, including muscle and nerve function, blood sugar regulation, and blood pressure control. It's like nature's chill pill. Aim for around 300 to 400 milligrams of magnesium per day, which you can get from foods like nuts, especially almonds, cashews, or peanuts, seeds, especially pumpkin seeds or chia seeds, whole grains, and leafy greens like spinach. If supplementing, do not exceed 350 milligrams per day from supplemental magnesium. Always discuss with your healthcare provider before supplementing, especially if you have any medical conditions such as kidney disease or you take medication, as magnesium may interact with certain medications. If you experience diarrhea, cut back on the amount of magnesium supplements you take. Too much can have a laxative effect. Next, we have potassium, the electrolyte superstar. Potassium helps regulate fluid balance, muscle contractions, and nerve signals. It's like the conductor of your body's orchestra, keeping everything in harmony. Aim for around 2,600 to 3,400 milligrams of potassium per day, which you can find in foods like bananas, oranges, potatoes, spinach, and beans. Be careful with potassium supplements, however. Too much potassium can be dangerous. Supplemental potassium should only be done under medical supervision and with regular blood work to monitor your level. The body tightly regulates potassium levels and as long as kidney function is normal, it's typically not an issue. 
Potassium levels that are too high or too low can cause irregular heart rhythms, which can be dangerous. Severe potassium deficiency can cause hypokalemia. Serum potassium level less than about 3.6 millimoles per liter is considered low, and hypokalemia affects up to 21% of hospitalized patients, usually because of the use of diuretics and other medications. Speak to a qualified healthcare professional if you are taking a diuretic or a medication for blood pressure to see if you need supplemental potassium and ask how much to take. Sodium is the next mineral on our list. Our bodies do need some sodium. How much sodium we need, well, that's still up for debate. Experts generally agree that the AI or adequate intake of sodium is 1500 milligrams per day. That would be the minimum amount desired. However, if there is a loss of sodium through sweating, diarrhea, or vomiting, for example, then the amount of sodium needed would be even higher. If you're an athlete living in a hot climate, you will likely need more than a sedentary person living in a colder climate. There are several factors that can play a role in what your body needs. This is why I feel sodium intake should be individualized. Some people may be sensitive to the effects of sodium leading to elevated blood pressure. In those with kidney disease, high blood pressure, or swelling or fluid retention should limit their sodium. The role of sodium in the body is to act as an electrolyte and help re regulate fluid balance. It works with potassium. Too much or too little sodium in the blood, also known as hypernatremia or hyponatremia, can have serious consequences. Kidney disease and medications are often associated with higher or low levels of sodium. Most people with healthy kidneys can regulate their sodium level just fine. But just keep in mind that too much of anything isn't healthy. Limit foods high in sodium, like processed meats, canned soup, or snack foods. The majority of our sodium comes from the salt added to processed foods. Whole natural foods like fruits, vegetables, lean meats, whole grains, beans, nuts, and seeds are naturally low in sodium. And finally, let's talk about zinc, the immune-boosting mineral. Zinc is essential for a healthy immune system, wound healing, and DNA synthesis. It also supports normal growth and development during pregnancy, childhood, and adolescence. Make sure to include zinc-rich foods in your diet, such as oysters, beef, chicken, tofu, beans, nuts, and seeds. The RDA for zinc is between 8 and 11 milligrams per day. Excess amounts of zinc like over 50 milligrams per day for a long period can cause decreased absorption of magnesium and copper. But zinc from food is very safe and it avoids the risk of getting too much. So why are minerals so important for your health? Well, think of them as the building blocks of your body's foundation. Without an adequate intake of minerals, your body simply can't function at its best. From supporting bone health to boosting immunity and regulating essential processes, minerals are essential for your overall well-being. Keep in mind that all recommended intakes are for adults. The amount may be less and varies for children and infants. Needs may be higher during pregnancy or lactation. Always consult a registered dietitian or trusted healthcare professional with guidance, especially when taking dietary supplements to meet your nutritional needs. More is not always better, and some minerals may be toxic in high doses. A healthy diet can provide most, if not all, of the minerals you need. This podcast is sponsored by Clake Nutrition, a private medical nutrition therapy practice offering telehealth services for those needing nutrition therapy to prevent, treat, or manage chronic health issues. Whether it's diabetes, cardiovascular concerns, food allergies, or digestive issues, we focus on good nutrition for better health. Check out my resources, blog articles, and one-to-one -one nutrition services at claytonnutrition.com. Some insurance plans are accepted. That's it for today's episode of Our Daily Chews. Thank you for joining me, and remember to subscribe and share with your friends. Stay tuned for more bite-sized nutrition insights. 
That's all for today's episode of Our Daily Chews. I hope you learned something new about the fascinating world of minerals and how they contribute to your health. Remember to nourish your body with a balanced diet, rich in minerals, and you'll be well on your way to feeling your best. This podcast is for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace the advice of your healthcare professional. I recommend you seek out help from a trained professional who can work with you in your specific situation. Thank you.